Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed, but the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since with their petrifying stares. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the Abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerity and obedience in hope that the wind gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert, whom Conroy has raised like a son. Well, not like his own son, of course. allowed to take that. It belongs to Conroy. I abolish it every day for him. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, look what it can do. Conroy says it reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. I bet you've seen a lot, hmm? Being a pigeon. You know, I've never been allowed to leave the palace because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. But look here. I knitted it myself so that no one will be afraid and of me. And if the basilian's oh, turn is uh, a stone, uh, it's your uh, own fault. Oh, these ungrateful worms. I'm only trying to help them. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Robert, my dear boy, play my song. <gasps> oh, Robert, how many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. Hmm? <laughs> No! <laughs> no! What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry. Pigeon, I trusted you. I'll save your pendant. Oh. No, Robert, boy, stay here. Guard, bring me the hedgehog. Oh, uh. I'll catch it. Kitty, kitty, kitty. That thieving pigeon. like he'd rob me without hesitation. I should ask him if he'd help me. Hello, can you help me? That depends on what you need. I don't have garbage. Garbage? Pardon? No, not me. Nobody's stealing garbage here. 
Especially not me. Well, I'm actually looking for... Do you need garbage? What do you sell here? Well, I don't want to brag, but I have the best garbage in Esposia. You sell stinking garbage? Ah, I see. You're an expert. Since when are you into garbage? I've, um, always thrown it away so far. Well, then don't be shy. Go ahead and look around my little shop. Is that an A? This? Do you maybe want to buy a letter? You can have it for a few aspiriti. Why would I need one of those? What's your name, kid? Robert. Well, if you'd have an A, you could make it Roberta, for example. Or Robert. The possibilities are endless. No thanks. I have a headache now. What's that? This? An exquisite sandwich. It has only been eaten twice before. Um, thanks. I'd rather not. You sure? I also have a half full root milkshake to offer with it. At least I'm pretty sure that it's a milkshake. No thanks. I've somehow lost my appetite. Who knows if I'll ever find it again. What's that? It's the best bird feed. I swear, no creature with wings can resist it. Great! That's exactly what I need. Can I have it? For a few aspororo, it's yours. aspo ra ro -ri. Sounds great. What's that? That's the price for the bird feed. I see. And what does that mean? Okay, I get it. You want to negotiate. Do I? What do you think of Asporora? Aspora? Are you trying to insult me? Okay. What do you think of Aspororo? And I'll even throw in this Conroy doll. He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. That's really kind of you, but <laughs> I really don't need that. Do you have any idea what features this doll has? Conroy's help is good and fine. So be nice and wait in line. You get all that for us, Porora. That's as low as I'll go. But... Okay, Asporo, but really no lower. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can't you just give me the bird feed? Okay, Aspiriri is fine. Pardon? Aspiri. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, jeez, okay. I'll give you the feed for Esps. Are you happy now? Um, I don't know. What? Okay, I'll give you the doll on top of that. Agreed? Just take it. Does this mean I can have the feed and the doll for free? Yes, I told you. How much more do you want to humiliate me? Thank you. You're very nice. And you are the most cunning, cold-hearted asposion I've ever had the displeasure to meet. Oh, I I'm very sorry for that. Well, thank you for the feed. I wonder why they searched the girl. She looks rather nice. Don't take down the posters. The wind turbines in this town have become useless ever since the wind left. There's an old bottle in the garbage. It's filled with fermented nodterine juice. How long has that been lying here for? <laughs> Smells like Tuesday. A year ago. Conroy's garbage chute. Why does it lead to a residential area? Damn, it's not movable. 
one can make good use of such shoots. A phosphos. Conroy hates phosphosses. I like them. They glow. I like light. I can't reach it. A wind sock blowing in the wind. Oh, a crutch. Whose crutch is this? Well, I, if it's just lying here, I guess I can take it. Oh, now the crutch's tip broke off. I hope the crutch's owner doesn't come back, although I'd be faster anyways. Oh, I would recognize that smile anywhere. Conroy! Rather not. He looks like he's upset with me again. There's a fish on the windowsill. I wonder how it got up there. That thieving pigeon! He's digging into the sacred earth. Catch that worm. Slippery little... It's too fast. Poo. That smells disgusting. Hi, worm. You look thirsty. Well, I guess worms can't take much. Come here, the party's over. Hmm, doesn't work. I guess he doesn't notice much anymore. So what should I shoot at first? Well, I only hope I won't hurt it. Well, Worm, now you're free again. But I'll keep this cork. Ha! Now I have you right where I want you. Kitty, kitty, kitty. The bag is empty. What's the matter? Do you want your money back? Uh, I can keep the thread. Oh, great! My own wind sock. Wind socks are awesome. If I tie the end of the wind sock with thread... Have a great net. You can't escape. Hey! <clears throat> what do you think you're doing here, Bozo? I, uh... A little hint. You're about to steal my pigeon. Oh, yes, uh... What? I'm not stealing the pigeon. It stole from Conroy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have, uh, stolen... Do you come here often? Whatever. Peck, come here. <laughs> Tell Conroy that from now on the winds are about to change. Ha! It was nice to meet you. Okay, keep calm. What would Conroy do? Oh no, he will kill me. I have to find that pigeon. And the girl too. 
Especially the girl. If I only knew her name. Laura. Wanted for theft, hostility towards the state of Asposia, assault, chewing gum in public, enraging the Brazilians. She has a beautiful smile. Where did the fish go? It was here a minute ago. Maybe it swam back home. If it's just lying here... That's the garbage dealer. Hel... Ah, you again. What else do you want? You already took my self-esteem? Again, concerning the garbage, w Stop begging. I won't give you any more for free. Did you recognize the girl who just stole that pigeon from me? Hmm, maybe I know something. If I had a few aspens, I could tell you more about it. I guess I don't have any of those. Great, then I guess I just have to tell you. So it's rumored that she's an outlaw and the professed enemy of Conroy, the Great Wind Guardian. Conroy's enemy? Why would anyone not like Conroy? I have no idea. As long as he keeps the Basilians off my back, he gets 20% of everything in my store. Again, concerning the girl... All further information costs extra now. What information? Well, Conroy has a bounty on the girl's head. Thank you. Damn! How are you doing this? Well, I guess I'll be going then. Okay. If you need garbage sometime, you know where you can find me. somehow. Hello. Hello, young man. I've never seen you here before. I'm new in town. Please. Who comes here voluntarily? Actually, I'm just looking for someone. Have you seen a girl passing by with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. The one from the posters? Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. What? Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Poor Conroy. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh. Yes. At least you can rely on the Bazillions. You know who she is? I can tell you a thing or two, my boy. But knowledge comes with a price, if you catch my drift. Uh-huh. You don't get it, do you? I'm afraid not. I would like to tell you. But worrying about my baby has made me forget everything. If my baby would be warm again, I could probably remember. Your baby's cold, but it looks so happy. Yes, with a smile it can better stand its destiny. Well, the cold... or the hunger... All the despair. E. Oh, I'm so sorry. How sorry? Uh, what? Well, I get sympathy every day for free. 
What I really need is something for my baby to wear. Oh, I understand, but now I really have to... Thank you. You're an angel. I had a onesie in mind. A what? A onesie. You know, folded pajamas made from strawberry yarn for my baby to wear. But where do I get such a onesie for your baby? If I'd known that, I would have taken care of it myself, believe me. But I have to stay here and protect the few belongings I still have. And the baby, of course. Where should I start looking for something like that? You'll think of something. Oh, it really should be organic strawberry yarn. But isn't that the most expensive material in Asposia? The Wind Monk's fabric? The fabric of nobles? The baby insists on it. Oh, yes, of course. I guess then... You should start to look for it. Okay, then. A onesie made from straw beer yarn. Can't it be any other material? If you want the poor thing to keep freezing, is that what you want? No. Then you better bring me the onesie. Does it really have to be made from organic straw beer yarn? Does it really have to be made from organic straw beer yarn? Excuse me. I apologize, but it's hard for me to understand you over the baby's shivering. I still couldn't find a onesie for the baby. What do you want, then? What's the baby's name? Conroy. Oh. That's great. You named it after the abbot. You never know. Maybe that calms the Brazilians. I think the name suits him. Thanks. It's a girl. Can't you just point in the direction she went? If you can obtain a onesie for my baby, I will bring you there personally. This song, it reminds me of something. Beautiful, isn't it? My dear mother used to sing it to me. Well then, goodbye. Okay, if you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. I won't go home, that's for sure. A mother and her baby. I wish I had a mother, or maybe a baby, but I couldn't even look after a rock root. A tiny Asposian. How cute. Soon he'll be one of Conroy's happy people. I better not touch it. Babies hate me. They seem to be posted everywhere here. Maybe I should write Pigeon Thief on it. I shouldn't take this down. Let's see what's in there. A pillow, half a glass of pickles, and a few nails. I wish I had such a nice room in the palace, but Conroy says wealth spoils character. What am I supposed to do with it? In order to break it, there'd have to be a pane of glass there. Today, jaw shatterer for Aspiri. This must be a dentist's office. The staggering phosphos. Why is it staggering? A phosphos. They give off light and warmth. They don't eat, produce noise, or exhaust fumes. Practical, but they need wind in order to glow. This was either caused by a Brazilian attack, or someone built a house without a roof. I wonder what he's done to incur the Brazilian's wrath. Oh, a walking stick. It's made of stone. 
Hmm. No wonder the old Esposian couldn't escape. I'd better take it before someone steals it. Oh, the little boy's playing. I used to play Escape from the Palace. Conroy even played with me. I never won. Hi, little guy. Friend or enemy? Uh, friend? Hmm, I guess if you were an enemy, you would let me know. My name is Detza. Gentleman, adventurer, and explorer of everything unknown. Name your request. What kind of map is that? It's a treasure map. It will lead me to the Bazillion's treasure. That sounds awesome. Where is the treasure? It says it's somewhere in the root forest. Oh, in Asposia's most dangerous place? Nobody's ever returned alive from that forest. Yeah, I know. I was there once with a boy from the neighborhood hunting for gorfs. I tied him to a tree. He was never to be seen again. Oh. Yeah, but my mom said he's in a better place now. Are you sure that this is a treasure map? It looks like a knitting pattern to me. Oh, come on! Do I look like I can't tell a treasure map from a knitting pattern? No, uh, yes. I mean, of course. But I think that... Listen, I will tell you what I've been trying to tell my mom. And the judge. And the uncle who wanted to discuss my dreams with me. If I tell you it's real, then it's real! Can I have a look at the treasure map? No! I want to find the Bazillion's eyes! What is the Bazillion's treasure? The Bazillion's treasure is so secret that nobody knows what it looks like. But it's most likely in a treasure chest. And what did the Bazillions put into the chest? Their eyes! Oh, yuck. What would you do with them? I don't know. I guess I will try to break them. So, you're looking for the Bazillion's eyes? Yes! How many times do I have to tell you? If I'd had these stones, I could have turned Asposia's enemies into rock! Who are Asposia's enemies? Ha! It could potentially be anybody. Absolutely anyone. Is that your Foss Foss? Yes, its name is Foss. I saved it. You did? How so? It was captured on Asposia's highest tower. Isn't Asposia's highest tower the lighthouse that doesn't shine anymore? Hmm. Yes, I remember Conroy telling me that the phosphos there had been stolen from the tower. Not stolen. Freed. Oh. Wouldn't it be easier to have another pet? Like a tiny, soft, tumble mouse? I used to have many tumble mice. But they always flew around all over the place. Oh, so they were blown away from you? They wanted to escape, but I stopped them. I see. And how did you do that? I stapled them to the ground. Oh. So they stayed. Oh. Yes, I also used to have two spindle pillars. They always wanted to crawl away too. Ah. Uh -huh. So I stapled them. Oh. I also had a wooloof. Oh, no. But it didn't want to stay either. Please, don't continue. Yes, Mom told me to keep my hands off the animals. Yes. And off staples. Nowadays, Phosphos are rare animals. I know. That's why it was so hard to get this one here. Have you ever thought about adopting any pet other than a Phosphos? Like what? Well, maybe one that's, um, a little more durable. Like a brick. Oh, what a nice pot. Did you just call it a pot? This helmet saved my life a million times. Like, like when I had to fight the root trolls. Uh-huh. How did you do that? Fire! Are you talking about that big fire two years ago? 
Otherwise, the root trolls would have destroyed all of Esposia. And the big flood extinguished the fire. You did that as well? If the question implies that I saved everybody's lives, the answer would be yes! It's good that you have such a wild imagination. But don't you think your mum noticed her pot is missing? It's a helmet! It's made of steel aluminium! I still remember how I fought off the legendary Gorf army and how the Gorfs returned to the Root Forest. Does your mum know you're playing here all by yourself? Yeah, and she said if I wanted to, I'm even allowed to spend the night outside. That's, um, understandable. Well, that's it. Enjoy your game. What game? Okay. Oh my gosh, are those arms hanging out of the window? I hope the person belonging to those arms is still attached to them.